In part 1 of this video, we began looking at revenue problems. We set up an equation to solve this problem regarding the college students buying a couch for $80. We ended up with this equation, which we're now going to solve. We can solve this rational expression by finding the least common denominator of n times n minus 5 and multiplying each term, including the 8, by n, n minus 5. When we do, the n's divide out and we get 80 times n minus 5 plus 8n times n minus 5 equals, with the n minus 5's dividing out, 80n. Continuing to solve, we'll distribute through the parentheses, giving us 80n minus 400 plus 8n squared minus 40n equals 80n. Notice we have 80n on both sides of this equation. That's going to be convenient because we can quickly subtract 80n from both sides and those will subtract out. Keeping everything in order, we have 8n squared minus 40n minus 400 left equals 0. Start by factoring out the greatest common factor of 8, leaves us with n squared minus 5n minus 50 equals 0. We can continue factoring to n minus 10, n plus 5 equals 0. To solve, we simply have to set each factor equal to 0. n minus 10 equals 0 and n plus 5 equals 0. Adding 10 to both sides gives us n equals 10, and subtracting 5 from both sides gives us n equals negative 5. If you recall from the previous video, n represents the number of college students who agreed to buy the couch. We couldn't have a negative number of students, so we have to cross the negative 5 out. There must have been 10 students in the original group. The second problem we set up we had a merchant buying pieces of silk and selling them at a profit. We ended up with this equation, which we can now solve by identifying the least common denominator being n times n minus 2. And we can multiply each term by n, n minus 2, including the 4. When we do this, the n's divide out and we're left with 70 times n minus 2 plus 4n times n minus 2 equals, the n minus 2's divide out, 88n. Next, we can distribute through the parentheses, which will give us 70n minus 140 plus 4n squared minus 8n equals 88n. We can combine like terms on the ends and put things in order to get 4n squared plus 62n minus 140 equals 88n. Subtracting 88n from both sides will make the equation equal to 0 to give us a form we can solve. 4n squared minus 26n minus 140 equals 0. We can now start factoring by pulling out the GCF of 2 to get 2n squared minus 13n minus 70, and either use the quadratic formula or continue factoring to 2n plus 7 times n minus 10 equals 0. We can now set each factor equal to 0, 2n plus 7 equals 0, and n minus 10 equals 0 and solve these equations by subtracting 7 and dividing by 2 to get n equals negative 7 halves, or simply adding 10 to the other equation to get n equals 10. You may remember this is the number of pieces of silk the merchant bought. He couldn't have bought a negative amount, so he must have bought 10 pieces of silk. And this completes the problem.